Hello team, let's rock some high-speed shooter action with Astabreed. Developed by Edelweiss and published by Playism, Astabreed throws you into the fury of an intergalactic war. At the helm of the prototype mecha X-Breed, you must shoot and slash your way across the invading alien forces as the events of the game unfold around you. The gameplay for Astabreed is totally nuts. You have access to wide and focus shots by mashing their respective fire buttons. If you hold these fire buttons, though, you get a wide and focused homing auto attack that slows down smaller targets. You also have a sword swing that lets you cut certain bullets, and if you hold the sword attack, you instead get a dash attack that locks into a single target and hits them at long range. When your mech starts glowing, you also have access to an EX attack, which is this game's version of the bomb, but in close quarters. All these mechanics vary in usefulness based on how the game presents itself. Oftentimes the game will change camera based on what's going on in the game, so certain segments will promote sword dashes, others will encourage lock-on spam, and some segments are just classic shooter segments. Your hitbox is the center of the mech, which is shown as a red dot when you have missile radar on. Enemy attacks are color-coded, though the only important color is red since it signifies an attack you can't cut away. Finally, you don't die in one hit. You have a shield meter that rapidly goes down with each hit, but it slowly regenerates when you find yourself in idle segments such as level transitions or boss introductions. One thing that blew my mind about Astabreed was how it presented itself. Shoot 'em ups, often abbreviated as shmups, typically show their game in either a top down or side scrolling play area. Edelweiss, however, has been experimenting with alternate camera angles for shmups with their previous game, Ether Vapor, and with Astabreed, you could tell that they perfected their technique. Simply put, this game has every camera angle. There are top-down segments, there are side-scrolling segments, there are third-person camera segments, there are dynamic camera range movements as you wreck a giant battleship, it's nearly all there! None of it ever feels awkward, either. Every transition in the gameplay shifts really well and the camera angle does a good job of keeping every enemy in your line of sight. It really fits the fast-paced mecha action that Edelweiss was going for with this game. The gameplay is also well done in nearly every regard. Despite having so many available attacks, Astabreed will always put you in segments that suggest the use of certain attacks. Sometimes your sword will be worthless due to the level scheme and you need to use homing shots and dodge properly. Other times your sword will be the one thing keeping thousands of bullets from killing you through sheer attrition. It all comes together to keep the player on his feet along with providing variety in gameplay which is refreshing considering the genre's roots. Everything feels responsive as well, you never feel like the charge times on the homing shot or sword dash are too long and you can use them on reflex when you need to. My favorite mechanic has to be the sword since it provides a great mix of risk versus reward. It allows for defensive gameplay while also giving you a good meaty attack. However, the sword has drawbacks as well since some enemies use unblockable lasers a lot. Movement is at a respectable pace. You move fast enough when you are in a neutral state. You slow down when you use homing radar for precise dodges, and the sword dash gives you a panic escape as well. The gameplay mechanics all come together to provide a unique high-speed shmup experience that will leave you breathless. My main issue with Astabreed, however, is that it's not exactly accessible. The game expects you to know the basics of shmup logic because it will throw the book at you and then some. The game is fast-paced, unrelenting, and very merciless. It is not a game that you would play if you are looking to break into the shmup genre. The game has a tutorial that explains mechanics well, but it doesn't prepare you at all for what the game plans to pit you against. On the more finer details, I feel like the use of particle effects kind of detracts from the game. With so much going on in terms of explosions and filter effects, oftentimes it was hard to see where and when a bullet nicked me and broke my combo multiplier. Luckily, the game gives you breathing room with your health bar, but it still feels a bit off at times. Another thing that felt awkward was the focused missile. The focus lock-on is a cone that is meant to allocate all shots to a single target, but aiming the cone is based on your current movement, which feels weird. There's an option to set the lock-on to different modes, and sometimes the autofocus tracking is good, but it always felt a bit clumsy trying to aim it while dodging huge attacks as well. Admittedly, all the flaws I just listed never really detracted from the game, but they are some prominent issues that trip me up at times. I also mentioned before that presentation is probably one of the best traits of this game, but it's also a double-edged sword. When Astabreed is trying to be a game, it's incredible. When it's not trying to be a game, it feels really weird and awkward. As you play the game, the story is presented through Japanese voice acting and subtitles in the bottom left corner of the screen as all the action goes down. While this is not a bad issue since it keeps you focused on the game, there are cutscenes in the game that obliterate the pacing and leave you confounded in the process. 
At two separate instances, the gameplay completely stops to show a cutscene. It completely ruins the flow, especially since the rest of the game is purely gameplay focused. Had they gone in a less plot-oriented direction or handled the cutscene transitions better, it would be less of a problem. But this just feels really weird to me given the genre the game works with. Ask to Breed was a risky experiment with a shmup genre that passed with flying colors. Despite having a few issues, it was a wild ride that I enjoyed the entire way through. While it may be daunting to new players, Ask to Breed is a high-speed ride that will test your piloting skills to no end.